This is Beach Volleyball, this is Canada, and we're back in North America for the first time in a long time. Quebec City is the host of this wonderful tournament, the Open Jeep. Let's have a look around the place. Stunning surround of Quebec City then here in Canada. Brazil versus Brazil though, as we have three Brazilian teams in the semi-final. We already have a Brazil-Brazil final guarantee with the passage of the Salgado sisters into that final. And the weather remaining the same for the second semi of the evening. Just over 7 p.m. in the evening, still 27 degrees and still perfect conditions for the practice of beach volleyball. So now the big, big favourites for this tournament has to be this team. Maria Antonelli and Talita Antunes da Rocha. They're playing in yellow here. Yellow and green, the traditional Brazilian colours, of course. Maria's now 27, one of the top defenders and servers on tour. They really haven't been at the races as they would have liked, though, this tour. With Talita, one of the top blockers and very technically gifted players that is around the women's game. Now to a team that really have to fight it out, week in, week out. Country quota, qualifiers and everything just to get where they've got. It's been a wonderful achievement this week to get to the final four for Vivian and Tayana. It's their 16th event together. Haven't been playing together for too long. The start of 2010 was the first time they teamed up. Tayana, 1 meter 75, is the uh, backcourt defender. She wears two in this partnership. Third time that they're in the final four. And refereeing, certainly not for the first time. It is USA's Glenn Sapp. They'll be ably assisted at the other end by our referee number two. And it's Jason Boyko from Canada. Applause from the home fans. And we're about to see yet more of Brazil's top talent take to centre court here in Quebec City. The Salgados did it in the first semi. Spain were down. Still a possibility of an all-Brazilian podium, remember. It's been a very, very good week for the South American nation, certainly the women's draw. And Maria Antonelli will be looking to make it even better by getting through to the final. Talita Antunes da Rocha. Very, very top player. He's uh, less known. They've been beaten once this week by the Spaniards in the quarterfinals. And then they had to go down to the contenders route. They've had a very, very long day indeed. It's their third match of the day, in fact. Vivian Cunha. You can see that lower back taped up. And you'll be hoping that it won't affect her play this evening. Diana da Souza Lima from Fortaleza resides in uh, Rio. Her best second place in Klagenfurt in 2010. Well, they've had a second and a fourth place in their previous final fours. So one semi one, one lost. Of course, that semi one was all the way back uh, in Austria last year. It's to Austria, we had in a couple of weeks. It is Quebec here, though. Semi-final number two in the women's draw. And it will be Tayana Lima to serve first. Right to left, wearing green. Here's Talita. Up for Antonelli with a swing. In the end, she chose uh, just to hit it nice uh, and softly. Just a roll beyond the block. Uh, Maria does shape a lot of the time like she's going to swing hard. In the end, it was a good disguise. Up towards Vivian. Nice hit on the angle. Well defended though. Maria will look to finish it off. Oh, it's an unforced error though. Lima with a chance just to push it across the net on the angle. 2 0. 
Maria and Talita. They'll be happy with their start. It is Maria Antonelli. Looks to get there in the backcourt. Very agile player. Gets up and down very, very well. Good chance again. Once more goes for the roll. Well defended this. Talita on the defence, her chance to try and finish, the set not ideal. Talita close to touching the net, just avoiding it, but the response out, meaning it's already 3-0. Talita from a difficult angle. No control. Tinelli, power server on a day. Looks to be going with a float here, though. Long way to go here. Was tripped over the back line as well. Had to be careful, did Dalida? So, first side out, first point. That will feel good for Vivian and Lima. Just need to get a bit of a foothold in the game. We've seen them in the Spanish team who went three points down in their first set as well. Just a bit of nerves. These two have been here before, though, not just as a team, but with different partners as well. Antonelli, that's a nice hit through the ball. Expect much more of that from her. Third season play together for Talita and Antonelli. Really hit the ground running in the first 18 months or so of the partnership. The last 12 months haven't provided as uh, much in terms of success as they perhaps wanted. The Olympics, of course, and qualification for that has to be their main goal here. And that's the reason they've come all the way back to Canada to play in this tournament in the middle of the European season. So important for them to gain points. Perhaps they can smell gold. They've started off very well in this semi. The team on paper out of the three teams uh, from Brazil in this final four. Uh, most people of a betting persuasion, let's say, would pick. Here's Talita. Already played a final on Canadian soil. In a Montreal final that she lost against Juliana Larissa. She was with her former partner. And that's a strong hit cross court. And that is the Maria Antonelli we all know and love. Brilliant power player on a day. Hanging high set on the bump there from Dalita. It was really inviting to, to hit through that. No chance for Tayana Lima. Right of the line at 6 1. Great stop. Dalita up in the block. Nice hit on the angle. Just taking the line there from Vivian. It is Tayana Lima, former winner of the gold medal at the under 21s. She's won two of those if she can't get to the ball there. First playing with Julian in 2002 in Catania, in Italy, then with Carolina Salgado, who just in action in Portugal. 2004, so she's uh, a decorated defender at youth level, certainly, is Tayana. She is with a high set. Sets up Vivian, who cuts quite beautifully. Intimidating presence at the net, Talita, one of the taller players in the women's game. A little more agile as well. Vivian serving cross court. Remember, they came off the. Uh, Loses bracket quarter final against Mexico earlier on this evening. Straight sets win. It's nicely won 21 14, 21 17 for them. As we see Antonelli picking up another point. 8 3. In control, Lily Dawes in this first set. Pump up high. Nice defending. 
Needs Tully to get there. Passes high and long just to give them time. Tayana looking to finish. Talita this time with a block. And again, it's all about persistence and perseverance. Talita and Antonelli blocking several paths to a point there. Tayana can't find it. Vivian can, though. This was the moment they could finally bring an end to the rally. Good kill. Nice set looking for Maria. Look at that for defending, though. Tayana showing her skills. They're well, doing so in one aspect of the game and failing miserably in another. She was voted as the most improved player on tour last year, Tayana Lima. As you voted for it, I want to see that. Though. Nice setting. Talita's there. And an Eni looking for the kill. Trying to go long and went too long in the end. It's a spur of the moment thing. Had to be the final touch, by the way, because Talita had already taken two. You can see it's out by quite a way. Side switch, it's 9 5. Vivian and Lima do have the serve. Them. Not long strong enough. Hanging high, making the position well. Just squeezing beyond Dalita, though. It's Vivian. Through the arms at the end. Much needed point for them. They're back to within three now. Over in two, and that is a gift. Brilliantly done by Dalita Nandonelli. Maria's reception setting up to lead her quite beautifully. Here we go. She'll finish those days off all long. Diana set. Nice poke. She thought it was. It's gone out though. Just not going for Vivian and Lima at the moment. They're having words with each other. Not good news if the communication fails this early in the match. Peels off quickly. No control though. Always difficult to take the sting out of that one. All the anger from the previous point. Pent up inside and taken out on the ball in the end. Nice strong hit. Still a face of anger, though, with what's gone on before. Still four points back as Talita looks to make it five. There's the roll, but it's rolled long. Instead of five, the difference is three. Long serve. The response was well left. Great judgment by Tayana Lima. It's two line blocks are called. Perhaps sneaking out. Leeds are not wanting to take the chance, though. Vivian. Pump up for Talita. That's hammered home. And hit hard into the sand for 12-8. But they're so happy to be playing at this level again. Final four once more. First time, well, they were there in Stad, of course. They're in Sanya. The only two times, though, that they've made the Final Four this season, yet to make a final in 2011. Oh, Talita now. Up to the blocking party. Five points of difference at the technical timeout. Early authority has been carried right through to the midpoint in the set. Very happy with how things have gone so far in the yellow half, but as you can see with the expressions for those girls in green, it's certainly not the same. 
where do we go from here? I think the conversation is something about meantime. Let's keep on going. They all know they have a golden opportunity to take gold here. Brilliant blocking, reaching high. Of course, it's all about avoiding the net, making sure the touch comes right. Certainly much more difficult than it looks. A lot of correct technique has to be carried out. Certainly right under the nose of the referee as well, who can call any number or manner of infringements. Talita, 2005, playing with Renata. Ribeiro, and they were beaten by Juliana Larissa. Tonelli. Gone down. Talida down the line. Didn't take a touch on the way through, though. Should now take the service. Unless their opposition. Think of something different here. It's uh, Talita and Antonelli at the minute. Steaming onto the first set. Just want to sort the line out. The wind getting in the way. Bit of sand to weigh it down. We'll sort that out. Wind has actually helped to blow a few clouds that were hanging around this morning away. Vivian. Oh, well. They can end up either side of the net, can those. It's a good job for Vivian that it went uh, just about fell the right side as far as she was concerned. Antonelli arriving. Back to within four. Long way to go, though. So from deep behind the line. Alito will attack it. And will attack it with great gusto. Lovely swing on the angle. Tonelli float serving. Oh, it's an ace as well. Add that into the mix, and they're certainly just five away from taking the set now. All manner of problems for Vivian and Lima. She's just a few right today. That one, though, not in that collection. Again, line blocking. Fingers outstretched. She'll peel off in the end. Down well is Antonelli. Talita tries to finish it. Chance, though, for a swing by Vivian. It's not going to get that far. It's a double touch. And the referee intervening with a setting for the first time today. Well, no calls at all in the first semi-final. Nothing so far in this one. Really defending by Antonelli to keep the point alive. And we'll see now. Setting question. Double touch is uh, a clear call from our referee, Glenn Sapp. There we go. Touch must be at the same time. It can't be spin off the balls, it leaves the hands. Well, that's not the way to follow it up. 17-11 though, I think a six-point cushion is uh, at least enough. Side change. There's a big animation on the screen that says netball. I'm not sure it uh, even reached the net there. Complete this hit from Maria Antonelli. Just making sure you can see the net right. <laughs> the issues with the bump sets fairly high behind the net. Vivian now will have an opportunity. Antonelli's over. And well, it's gone her way. Talita hanging well there. And there's the net touch. Eagle eyed referee. 18 11. 
everything that's gone wrong for Vivian and Lima. They'll need to correct very soon because we're not far away from the second set. They managed to slide out there, though. Something that really has put them on the road to uh, first set ruin here. Consistent inability to find the slide out. Still six points behind. Diana Lima to serve. Talida. Boat with a touch on the block. Another duel. Really has been uh, consistently won by Talita. There's been that at the net. Vivian really hasn't had a look in. It's time the settings better. Goes long, no touch, and it is set point to Antonelli and Dalita. Well, it's been quick fire. It has been very, very quick. 2012. Applause already from the crowd. Not even there yet. Antonelli just drops it short. Vivian to rise high. That's one set point save. They've got to stop the opposition sliding up for seven points. Much more than the second set needed from Vivian and Lima. Go long in towards Talida. Bump up. Chance for the swing in the set. Coming over from Tayana. This time she has it. Hit hard, hit almost vertically into the sand. 21-13. It has been comprehensive, to say the least, in set one. Talita and Antonelli, at this rate, on their way rapidly into another gold medal match. So set one, brought to an end in that fashion. Antonelli, really at her best defensively. She's done some wonderful work. And it started as they opened up a three-point lead with that reply very, very quickly in set one. Vivian really never herself at the net. Perhaps the extra match today taking its top. Match also played on centre court, in front of a big crowd. To get here to the semi finals can be considered uh, a big success. Tayana and Vivian. Seeded eighth for this tournament. It's not having to play a country quota this week, in fact, in the absence of Juliana Larissa. Country quarter where they stayed in Moscow. And it's a fifth in uh, Stard, 33rd in Stard, 17th at the Worlds. <laughs> and semi final was back in order in Finland last year. Time to hit that top form again. They need to do it quickly. Need to stop to, and hit the ground running in set two very, very quickly. Diana and Vivian not showing the greatest of body language, certainly not in the positive stakes anyway. This crowd, though, more than enthralled and more than happy to continue enjoying the exhibition that's been put on by Antonelli and Talita. Already with set two, it'll be Antonelli to serve first. They'll be hitting from right to left. Don't serve again in towards Vivian. No change in tactics at the start of the second set. And no change in the way the points are summing up. Point off serve straight away. They've been attempting to poke the ball beyond the block. Talita blocking enough of the line off. Hit on the angle. Well, evasive action in the end from Andanelli. That was hit very, very hard indeed. 
That's good from Vivian. We've not seen enough of that from her in this game. Aggression placed in the right way. Oh, straight away letting us down with the net ball. Need to cut out the mistakes. Dan Antonelli, perhaps okay in the last uh, six to 12 months, not at the top of their powers. They're one of the top teams in the world. Again, the setting called up once more, it's Tayana. And that is a big blow early on in the second set. Just as though you're trying to start afresh, wipe the slate clean. Already two points down. And a mistake that didn't need to be made. Here we go. Clear double touch. Again, forceful heading. Still need to bounce back. Cross court, not many things get past Antonelli in the back court. Had to be good. I'm going to control it. Talita, well done. Tayana's down there. Pass is there, but it let Talita in rather too easily. Patrolling, hovering, prepared and ready. Tayana was always going to come out of there. That was a response then. The door firmly locked. Antonelli down well. Chance though to go in two. Talita's there again. Oh, it's a blocking masterclass now. That's several performed in this match. And that perhaps the best of them. Had to make the move cross court. There she went, and look how happy she is with it. Everything going for them today. 5 2 already in set two. Already having their opponents on the back foot. Vivian Tonelli. It's just too easy at the minute. Really is too easy. Vivian and Lima have not turned up for this one. Whatever there's been a hint of them contesting a point. The others have been there just to force them back. That though was a gift. Time out taken. I know it's early. Eight points played in this set. And it is uh, pretty poor from Vivian and Diana. I'm afraid that I think we can safely say there's only one way that this match is going at the minute, and that's two sets. Energy gels have perhaps even a bit more than that, some sort of intervention from somewhere. They really need to forget about what's gone. Vivian and Diana Lee have played some good, good beach volleyball this week. Defeat so far that straight sets defeat against uh, Lilian Elsa, the team we saw beaten by uh, Salgado's in semi final number one. That was on the outer courts, it was watched by many though. And the only mistake they've made uh, in a week where they've uh, beaten some big, big teams. United States of Hochevar and Rutledge qualifying, but of course, uh, well known at home. They had to get past the home support, the best Canadian effort as well, Martin and Lissa. Vivian looking for a response and not finding it. <laughs> and Danelli to drop it short again. No need for the jump serve in this match from her. That they're not the greatest moment. Provided Tayana with the gift that she'd been waiting for. And you can see the disappointment on the face of Antonelli. Gets her into side out, but they're still four behind here. 
Good setting. And it was the reception that allowed uh, Diana and a finish. Quick kill. 3 7 the score. Antonelli. Vivian to hit. Antonelli managing a block this time. But often we see her at the net. Tally to to finish though. And Vivian quite angry with her partner there. She had the first touch, not being helped out. Something we saw when they went to sit down, these two. Very little communication between them. Diana, of course, as we've said, played with some big, big successful players at youth level. Vivian's ball read well. Talita, see her eyes light up there, but she couldn't finish it. Vivian standing tall. 8 4 still the score, though. Yeah. Say four points still the difference, rather, the score moves on. Decent serve, well taken down. Tonelli looking to finish it off. Vivian responds. No doubt about the contact from the referee. Here's Tayana. Antonelli's there. But Tayana rolls beyond that block. Want some help from the crowd here. Desperate for a bit of momentum. Well, they need all the help they can get. Better volleyball, though. Much better volleyball the last couple of points. Timeout maybe just helping them slightly. I wonder she wanted help from the crowd. It has been a flat performance so far, nothing in it. Antonelli. Bit of help from the net, but little does it matter to her. 9 5, side switch. And even though there was a brief comeback of sorts from uh, Viviana Lima, still very much Antonelli and Dalita are in control of the scoreboard. Venomous hit. <laughs> Difficult with uh, Talita back pedaling. Vivian rising high. Smash low. Serve on the run there from Lima. Antonelli with a free hit. He doesn't miss those. Back from Dalita. Straight between the two opposition players. Good serving, just about kept alive. Credit to the Brazilians in green. Antonelli again looks to hit and well. Might have just put the commentator's curse on her. Said she doesn't miss many of them. That was a glaring miss. Brilliant defending though. Just shows that if you can keep it alive, it can pay off. You'd have backed her to finish this down the line. Well wide. And she pats herself on the chest to say, yes, it was my fault. Stein defends well, though. Get another chance at a swing here. Again, hits hard. This time, hits it right. Back on the money. And back with the service as well. Bump up. Limo will attack. Good response. Chance for Andanelli again, she's getting several of them here. Not the greatest of sets, and she's been called for a net touch. You could see that coming, set drifting towards the net. Talita will be disappointed with herself there. That's why she had to poke anyway. Perhaps wanting to swing at the ball. There we go.
this time it's good. Right on the back line. I think she's enjoying herself as well. Screaming away as she runs to the service. A bit over enthusiastic because it's Dali to the serve. But she's got the right idea. All the momentum, all the power, all the enthusiasm coming from the yellow side of the net. That takes a touch on the way through. Vivian will bump up. Lima finds a wrong footed Antonelli at the technical timeout. But it's closer in the second set than we had in the first. Still within an outside sniff of taking it to three, but Talita and Antonelli, I'm sure deep down, will be very, very confident that they had the beating of these two. Vivian in particular, just happy. Let's check out why. As that last point hit home. Yeah, they're still doing their best to stir up a bit of enthusiasm. Antonelli, though, have been in big, big matches around the globe over the last uh, two and a half seasons together. And as you can see, it's uh, a big, big effort by the organisers to fill things up here. Really well sold to them. I can tell you, just to paint the picture out in the outside courts, we have uh, six big screens, a field that uh, can fit several spectators in for those who can't get seats on the set of court. And, uh, a good eight or nine outside courts as well. To that a festival that's going on with uh, the main street of the city cordoned off, all full of sand. It really is a week long beach party here in this part of Canada. Yeah. Antonelli to hit. Vivian was never in the mix there at the net. Never getting anywhere near it. Getting on it late as well. There's the rush, she didn't even rise. Didn't even get off the floor. Antonelli float across. Vivian will attempt to hit. Great defensive tactics from Talita and Antonelli. Blocked off cross court, there was space down the line, but of course the Talita block, not one that you want to take on too much, certainly with the form she's been in today. It's pushed wide, it's pushed too wide. And again, 14-9, the score moves on. Down the line in towards Vivian. Again, putting her under as much pressure as possible. This time, Talita can't deal with her response. It's no surprise to see them keep serving to her. Back to 15-10. How many times have we seen that disappointment? Six away from the win here as Vivian takes down. Tiana has lots of work to do. The first pass that keeps it in though. Nicely done. Cut shot. Just sit on the angle. So much time to plan it though. With Tiana at the net. So that much more easy. Talita rises high. Bump up there for Antonelli. Making the block finally from Vivian Cunha. How long have we been waiting for that? Just about to close the gate as well. Good contact. Still five points back though. Need something truly special here to stay in this semi. Tonelli looking to edge them closer. Well, something truly special, maybe allied to the odd uh, unforced error. That's one of them. They'll need a few more, though. Tonelli straight into the net. Well, 
instead of trying to hit hard, goes for the measured approach. Well shot. Alita setting was good enough. Diana was the one blocking on that occasion. Vivian, well down there. Chance up. Brilliant defending. Antonelli needs to get up and hit home here and does it quite wonderfully. And it deserves every bit of celebration she can throw into it. Well, one of the players of the match. Down the line here, looked to be a point for Vivian and Diana. Talita set and gave her plenty of time to get up. And what a kill. Be a good pass behind her. And the deftest of deft touches. Nicely played by Vivian. It looked like on the way to losing this match, but they need the confidence for tomorrow. Of course, it doesn't all end here. There's a bronze medal to fight out for yet. There's Antonelli and Tarita. Move to within two points of another gold medal match. Would be their 11th final, by the way, as a pairing. Side out for Vivian and Lima, but uh, too many worries for Talita. And uh, to side out home from here will be over and done in no time. Antonelli, oh dear. Close, very, very close. And closer come Vivian and Lima. Back to within four points. Remember though, if you're just tuning in, they're a set down. Now class to the first set, 21-13. Antonelli and Talita playing some good beach volleyball. Side out, he'll bring them up a match point. Talita. Antonelli. <laughs> Miss hitting. <laughs> well, no timeout call, but another point to Vivian and Lehman. It'll start to get more interesting. Oh, we're watching the replay, but out of your pictures, we see the uh, misplaced effort down the line by Antonelli. Diana's been calling for more crowd support. <laughs> Line block, follow line block. Diana peels off, and there will be the match point. Crowd rise to their feet. And in anticipation of Antonelli and Talita able to finish this off. Maria Antonelli then, serving for a place in the Quebec final. Not far off dipping over the other side, I tell you. I have a few match points to play with. Certainly wasn't the worst of ideas. Certainly the noise that they can now side out for victory. Talita sets it up, way behind the net here. Vivian has to be down well, and she is. Looks for the finish and gets it. Now then, now then, now then, back to within two, and you knew that a timeout would come there. A bit of momentum finally building for Vivian and Tayama. You can see that they've got the adrenaline flowing. It's taken them long enough. A good 40 odd minutes, I can tell you. But it might be too late. But you never know. A couple more points to level things up. Then, if they edge themselves ahead, we're talking three sets. Certainly didn't look like a possibility five or ten minutes ago. Uh, talking, certainly one way traffic. Diana Lima giving out the instructions.
Concentration, still match point. Up for Antonelli, there it is. Time out doing the trick. The only scare they had in the match, Talita and Antonelli. Back in the final for the first time this year. They've waited a long, long time, half a season for this moment to come. Finally back on form, finally with a chance to go back for gold. 21-13, 21-18. Maria Antonelli and Talita Antunes de Rocha into the final in Canada. We said Talita had been there before and got the silver. They'll back themselves to take gold against the Salgados. Disappointment for uh, Vivian and Tayana Lima. Certainly wasn't their evening. They have the consolation of trying to go for the bronze medal tomorrow against the Spaniards. So to sleep on that defeat, sleep on victory at either side of the net. Still talking about things that they could improve on. Okay. Congratulations from the physio. So be confident of taking the derby for gold tomorrow. Whoa. It took a while for those moments to come. Vivian and Tayana Lima really not turning up for the first set. 21-13 the score. Vivian Antonelli really bossing it. When it came to the second, well, they again eked out a very early lead. And they kept that right the way through the set until just before the end, it was narrowed to two. Timeout taken, momentum was stopped. And it was easy enough to finish off in the end. As Antonelli particularly strong in defence. It's a hit home. Wasn't to be enough in the end, though. That was the moment it was sealed, and the delight that came with it in going back to a swatch to a final for the first time since Club in front. So this is the end in the second semi-final. Two sets to love again. The women, Brazil versus Brazil for gold tomorrow. Join us again in just a few moments. We'll be back on the Swatch World Tour with more from Quebec.